ቄነሽ ቢጂ This is Navajo Grandma. Today we're going to make Navajo dumplings. And this will be, uh, this is Navajo Grandma's Inesh Biji recipe. Again, it is Navajo dumplings. And I make the Inesh Biji from the Navajo fry bread recipe. I only use half the recipe and even that I think is going to be a lot. So we're going to, instead of using four cups, we're going to use two and and then we're going to use uh, just half of the teaspoon here um, and then one teaspoon of salt and then grandma just adds whatever oil she wants. That's, that's up to you. And then Instead of three to four cups, Grandma's going to add probably about one and a half. So we're going to start our bluebird flower. Here we go. There's one. Asai in Navajo. And two. Naki. Okay. okay, we're just going to be using a teaspoon and a half. So again, this is a Rumford baking powder. And then it says, it asks, it calls for two teaspoon of salt. And so we're going to add one teaspoon of iodized salt. Now, Grandma is going to mix this. And I'm telling you, this looks like a lot, but I, I, I don't know. Then I use my extra virgin oil, and I just use, it's just up to me. I, you know, I just add what I will. And then I'm going to put, now I have two cups of water here. Now I just put one cup of water in here. Go, you're able to make it into a ball, and it easily takes all of the flour off around the edges. So now, Grandma's gonna just leave this, and it's a small ball, like this. The other one usually is about a little bigger. And this is our, our dough. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this, and we're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes. Grandma has had this for 30 minutes and I'm going to show you how we did this. Now, when I was little and it's very soft, the dough is just so soft. It's wonderful. And, um, and so what we did, now this is a family affair that we did when we were little and my mother used to put us all around the table and we all got a piece of this dough. And all you do now, the, the, the white people will roll this out and they will cut it. And sometimes I've done that myself, but the, the Navajo way is that you take a little piece, just not very much, and you roll it. This is called, whoops, actually that's a little too much. Um, this is called Inesh Biji. See, look at this. And this is uh, what we did. And it was so fun as a child. That was our noodles. And um, this is what we spent time. We knew when mom was making uh, soup because we would all be invited and or sometimes told to come help make dinner. And we rolled these. And I noticed today that there is some Hispanic people who do this too. But see, they don't need to be perfect. You just line them up like that and just take little pieces, roly-poly them. That's all we did. It was so fun. It was a family time. We talked. Mom would laugh because we would... You know, some of us would make it too fat. You want them slender and, you know, to cook quick, uh, a little quicker. So here you go again. Now Grandma has her soup. 
It doesn't matter what kind of soup you have. I'm going to tell you that. The soup should be boiling like this. See what I mean? This is all of the Ganesh Biji I made. When we were children, we used to just love to uh, drop these noodles into the soup. And that's basically all. And they're big fat noodles, okay? Um, they're not small. And uh, that's all. This is called Ganesh Biji. This is a Navajo noodle. Now, I don't know the dates and when and where and who started this and everything. It's the way that uh, the Diné people make their noodles. Maybe they saw some white person and see see the noodles now. Um, I, <laughs> they look like worms, which is pretty cool, I think, but as a kid. And... So this is, and you let this cook for about 15, 20 minutes, and it needs to be boiling like this, okay? So this is, this is so fun. I, I love making this as a, as a child. And then, you know, you had your big fat noodles with your food. And that's, that's basically it. This is called Inesh Biji. Okay, it's, it is Navajo Grandma's Ganesh Biji recipe. It's a Navajo dumpling. And, and, and again, it's made from the fry bread recipe. And this is what it looks like. They're big fat noodles and it's kind of fun to eat just as, as this. And I have chicken, broccoli, corn, peas. I, I don't like the every, you know, the normal type of soups. And I, I don't like, I'm not a mutton eater, but some people can make mutton so perfect. Uh, and I know uh, Grandpa and I eat mutton steaks now and then, and it's just perfect. So, there's, did you see how much dough is left? Lots and lots of dough. So, this is what you do. You watch it, and you make sure that... Uh, you know, that when it's ready, you can have a dumpling soup. You know, you can lay it out and, and flatten it and roll it out and cut it. You don't have to do it this way. But it's, it's a recipe for noodles. And I, when I tell you the fry bread dough is very versatile, it really, really is. From putting it with ice cream to making Navajo tacos and making sandwiches and eating it, you know, plain or with, you know, something sweet. It, there's so much. We got to try it all. You know, I decided just to do, make, make a, some flat noodles too. Let's, let me show you how you can do this too. We'll just cut it like this. Okay. And you can do this very simply as well. And you know, th there are pastry cutters too. So we finished the soup and Grandpa's gonna be the taste tester. Wonderful. This is called Navajo Grandma's Ganesh Biji recipe, Navajo dumplings. And it was wonderful. So Grandpa's eating, Please we're happy. Us. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night.